Hi everyone, my name is Carla and I'm an astronomer and science communicator from Chile and I'm going to show you my ongoing investigation that is called La Tercera en Wikipedia, the relationship between the news and the editions in the encyclopedia during the social outbreak of 2019. So we're going to start with a little introduction. We know that Wikipedia needs reference and many of them are news. And also we know that large media companies can act on behalf of their ideologies or their power or social structures of their stakeholders. And here, the neutral point of view of Wikipedia plays a crucial role on disseminating the, the information. On the other hand, we know that in Chile, there's a duopoly of information. That means that there are two big companies that owns via their subsidiaries, owns all of, all of the information that is presented to the public. And with recent studies, there was a contradiction between the collectively thought or imagined reality with the reality reported by the hegemonic media in the social outbreak. So that's why we're fo focusing on uh, this investigation in that social outbreak in that time of crisis. We started to work with La Tercera because, well, La Tercera is one of the most consulted media in Chile. If we go to the social outbreak uh, article on Wikipedia and we look up the reference, we know that La Tercera goes for 81 reference and the other media that is follow that follow is like half of the of la tercera and in the constitutional convention convention it happens the same only that uh, this was like a, a, a institution or like yeah a, a institution <laughs> we can say that so the first thing that is used as reference is the um, uh, public records of the constitution, or I mean, of the convention. <laughs> so with this in mind, the, um, the main objective of our, uh, our investigation is to know, well, how or why, <laughs> or, or is it uh, any relation of the media discourse of La Tercera with edition in the Spanish Wikipedia during the social outbreak in Chile in 2019. So, how was the, me me the method methodology? <laughs> well, we, first of all, the we gather all the news that contain the word protest of government or social outbreak from October 18th, the day that started the, um, the social outbreak, and November 15th, that was the day that uh, the political parties signed an, a bill uh, modifying the, the constitution and allows uh, the constitutional convention. Okay. And then the vandalism, the vandalism comes from all the contributions of Cerobot, that's a bot in Spanish Wikipedia that uh, reverts some vandalisms. And we uh, cross these uh, th these contributions, these vandalists, with the article of Chile, because we we wanted to know uh, what contributions of Cerobot uh, are from Chile or are from articles related to Chile. And also we gather some articles that uh, with the what li links here of the social outbreak article in Spanish Wikipedia to see how other articles were describing the social outbreak. Okay, so this part is the critical discourse analysis that we, we did. And in this table, you can, uh, you can see that there are many levels of understanding of the text. Uh, this apply for the news, the articles and vandalism with a little modifications for the context, context of, uh, of everything. But we mainly uh, wanted to know like what semantic or macro structures themes uh, is possible to deduce from the discourse, or uh, what are the ambiguous things that the text uh, gave to to the lecture, and mainly what's the discourse? What does the text the, the text seek with this? Uh, how does it influence the public and everything else? So we had like first findings, and this is interesting because uh, we already analyzed everything for uh, by separate, 
like all the news, all the vandalism, all the articles. And now we are uh, trying to figure it out how all of this is related. But the first findings that I want to show you with you is that, okay, La, La Tercera speech uh, focus on the violence but that, that, they that was carried by the protesters. Uh, also, the focus was mainly in how it affected the economy and how the government was uh, not, yeah, how the government uh, was trying to seek uh, a solution for, uh, for this crisis. On the other hand, the vandalism was focused on two extremes. <laughs> The first one was the to show the protesters as violence, and the other one was to show the police forces as violence. Uh, for example, if you went to the article of the, the police in Chile, the Carabineros de Chile, you find out that the all of them, not all of them, but uh, mostly the vandalisms in that page were like. Uh, attacks of uh, uh, the police force, uh, I mean, attacks to the police force, like saying they they were uh, violating the human rights and everything. But if you went to, or if you go to the um, article of the Communist Party in Chile, uh, the vandalism were, uh, were like, uh, uh, the communists are the bad people and the violent people. So we, we have like two extremes of, of this, but in the Wikipedia articles, it was uh, more interesting also because uh, they were so different for, from the La Tercera speech because in the Wikipedia articles, the main purpose or the main subject uh, in the social outbreak was the violations of the human rights, the police repression. So if you look up all the articles that show anything about the social outbreak, you can find that the, the part of the uh, repression of the, of the police is well-documented and the violence of the, uh, that came from the people because there, there were some violence, there were fires, barricades and everything. But that were uh, that thing uh, was like in a second plane, so that was in interesting, <laughs> and 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 yeah, I, we are trying to figure it out how all of this is related. Uh, if you have questions, please email me. Uh, that's my email. So thank you and thank you for having me. Bye bye.